and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to add noise to a photo. We've got this photo right here, you will find that via the description link below. I want to duplicate it, so right click on it and duplicate the layer. The first one I'm going to keep it as the original and the second. Let me name that noise. Make sure it's selected, then go to filters, noise and there are a couple of options. If you hover over them, they are explained a little bit. For example, just move the pixels around with the spread. But I like to use this HSV, which stands for Hue, Saturation and Value. Make sure the previous check. Depending on the size of your photo, it takes a little bit for GIMP to process all of that. So my CPU isn't that slow, but it still takes some time with this image size. The dulling, it affects the randomness. So if you get higher, the noise becomes a little bit smoother, you could say. So the randomness is turned down. The value, I would say you could also call that the intensity of the noise. So if you go down, you're going to reduce it. And if you go up, you're going to add noise to it. Hue and saturation, they adjust the noise. So these small little elements themselves. So if I go extremely up with the hue, you can say they become a little bit lighter and it's going to desaturate the entire photo. And the saturation itself, it doesn't affect the saturation of the photo. Instead, it's about the saturation of the noise. So don't get that mixed up. There's also random seed. It randomizes the noise further, but to be honest, I've never used it in any way. So I'm going to keep that at zero. You can also blend it directly here. So you don't have to blend the layer. You can blend the noise directly. And this is the best way to counter the desaturation due to the hue. In most cases, you want to keep darling hue and saturation at somewhat like 10 to 20% and the value maybe between 15 and like 30%. That gives you the best results, I think, for most photos. But every photo is a little bit different. So play around with these values. It's quite simple. So once again, just copy your original and then add the filter noise. And in this case, I've used the HSV noise. If there are further questions about that, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.